Hey guys, welcome back. BDC Kara here. We're back with our weekly recap of all things Injustice. This is for the week of June 3rd, 2021. Uh, the current character challenge is Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. That is a one-week repeat. As always with the Suicide Squad challenges, there's no requirements at normal difficulty, and there's only nine fights in each ladder, and then it goes back to on Expert and Nightmare difficulties, uh, 12 fights for each ladder, uh, and then 15 for the final. Uh, you also get better prizes, like all Suicide Squad challenges, which is a silver pack, a gear locker, and then a gold pack, instead of the usual bronze, then credits, then a silver pack. Right before you get the challenge character. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the required characters at higher difficulties, although you probably won't be using those, are Black Adam, Flash, and Raven, who you can get as Silver, Bronze, and Challenge Gold. So, you know, it's not great for new players at higher difficulties, but higher difficulties aren't great for new players ever anyway, right, so right. doesn't really matter. Uh, the, her passive is It's What We Do, which is Harley has an extra trick in her bag of tricks. If Suicide Squad Deadshot is on your team, Dynamite turns to C4. And if you have a Suicide Squad the Joker on your team, the Joker picture brings him in for an attack. She's got 1250 attack and 1450 health. She was last available in November of 2020. All right, so she's got excellent high stats. I believe she has the highest combined stats of any Harley Quinn. Next best is, so 1250 and 1450 is what, 2700? Next best is Arkham Harley Quinn at 2200. Yeah. Uh, she's a great character. Or 2100 for... Oh, right. 1100 and 1000, sorry. Yeah. I was thinking 1100 for both. Mm -hmm. um, so her special two is deadly. Yeah. Uh, when you have Joker on the team, and he's maxed out for special two to take advantage of it. We did a video of this a couple years ago. She's really good. Um, yeah. Because you basically get to smuggle in three full gear slots uh, just yeah. dedicated to uh, her special two. Yeah. Like, yeah. bonus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the the extra they're talking about in her passive, because their passive is actually sort of almost three things. The extra that you do is she can give power. One of the abilities is give power. Mm -hmm. Other Harley Quinns don't. And her passive uh, lets her have splash damage on her bomb if Deadshot is on team. That's what the C4 means. Yeah. But the absolute best, the real kicker, if Suicide Squad Joker's on her team, uh, the card that's Joker that's normally team damage boost, that's a Joker attack. He comes in the same way um, Pirate Crew for Flashpoint when Deathstroke has all his partners come in. Harley Quinn gets Joker coming in. Yeah. And so sh that damage on Harley Quinn's special two using Joker is based on the Joker's damage stat. It's boosted by his passive, which gives, gives plus 10% per Suicide Squad teammate. And it's boosted by any of his gears that has a special two boosting effect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is why we said you basically get to small clone three, because yeah. you can have all of her gears for however you want her loaded out, and you can still have her have a ridiculous special two if you use the Joker portrait. Right. right. Uh, because you essentially get to gear out the Joker just for his special two. Right. Right. And have it count on Harley Quinn. Yeah, so because of the way her special 2 is calculated, the best way, with the Joker card, of course, because of the way her special 2 is calculated, the best w uh, way to really max it out is to increase Joker's crit chance on special 2. And on that team that we demonstrate, uh, he's max augmented for crit chance. He's got Demon Blade for uh, plus 30% uh, crit chance and Kryptonian Rifle for plus 30%, so he's basically 100% crit chance. Um, and he's got, the way we geared him in that video, he's got LexCore Helmet to boost crit damage. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I mean, there's more than enough damage without boosting Special 2 to one-hit KO most opponents. Yeah. Um, but boosting crit damage is really fun, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so when we use uh, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn Special 2 in that video, see, he's doing 250,000 damage on her Special 2. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just ridiculous. So it's funny. The, the, what's always funny to me, and I say it in the original video, is that I know that the damage has to be based on something, but it's it's funny that it's all it's almost like a, a smorgasbord, right? Yeah. Um, it's his special one animation, which is the gunshot. It's Suicide uh, Squad Harley Quinn's special two, but it uses his damage stat as the base damage, and it's affected by his special two modifiers. Yeah. Um, Which is weird. Yeah. None of it lines up. The only thing that 
technically makes sense is that it's Harley Quinn special too, and that it's his special too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, damage stats, but everything else is kind of right, funky. Right. Right. Um, the, the the hardest thing I think about this team is just that her um, the abilities or sort of the effects on her special two cycle pretty fast. Because there's an extra one cycling through, mm-hmm. um, and on our device it lags a bit. So you know sometimes you pick the wrong thing. I pick the wrong thing. Yeah. Um, so when you have Tanti Totem, right? You mm-hmm. get all your power back. Um, yeah. When you don't do damage. And technically, you're not doing damage because it's the Joker doing all the damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what's really cool, too, is that when you miss, if you think about the different effects, uh, the extra effect, which is team power, uh, if you have Tantu Totem, you get power and then you get rewarded. Yeah. You get it refunded. Yeah, yeah. So the healing one, uh, the team power one, uh, and the Joker portrait one all give you your power back. Yeah. Which is, you know, pretty good for three out of four. So even if you misclick, you got to chance yeah. of getting power back the, the crappiest thing is actually the bomb which normally you want because it's unblockable it's reduced in damage so the base damage is only 44k yeah compared to over 200k with the joker mm-hmm. and you lose your power because yeah. you're probably not knocking anyone right, out with right, that right um so harley quinn gets credit for the kills but joker gets credit for the damage um and we also demonstrated that if you don't have joker in the first slot you can see it in our uh, banner on our channel He's got zero seconds in the fight, does a massive amount of damage, and uh, it's just so much fun. Mm-hmm. Um, out of those three abilities, I think that's so much more. I mean, you know, splash damage with the C4, that's okay. But this, 200,000, boom. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, we're, we have three gears just dedicated to maxing special two, and we still get to get our power rewarded by Tantu Totem, and that's sort of yeah. the, the beauty of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this week's multiplayer reward is the Sengoku helmet, which becomes Batman Ninja helmet. Uh, and when it's fully maxed out, you get a 40% max health increase. For every 5% of available power, damage received is reduced by 2.3%. Uh, a Batman-only ability, which is for every 10% of available power, crit chance is increased by 3%. And then an evolved ability, which is a 50% chance to resist power drain. It was last available in November of 2020, were like a good half a year or not quite almost half a year um on schedule for the known cycle so we should expect to see astro harness next week right it's a good tank defensive gear uh generally we don't like defensive gears we go all offense all the time originally was part of our loadout on new 52 superman in our justice league team because he his passive would let him sort of crank up his uh offensive potential and this was a way to make him sort of um, immortal, invulnerable. Yeah. Um, so the, the it's some of the abilities are in line, right? So you have power to reduce damage, and you can resist power drain at the same time. Problem is, you can't use your power yeah. in order to really get the most out of it. Um, I think probably the best use of this gear would be on Red Lantern Hal Jordan, where you start off with three bars of power if yeah. you want to make them your tank. Um, because you don't really have to work for power with him. Yeah, and then you could use your special because he, he cranks it up again really fast. Like, you don't have to earn the power again. Yeah. So it'd be an interesting way to use it. Yeah. Um, and the other thing, too, is that, you know, because he's using his health with each special, after a certain point, you don't actually want to use his specials anymore because you have him get knocked out. You knock so, yourself out. Yeah, he's, he's also the only character that you would definitely have situations where you'd want to hold on to power naturally. Yeah. yeah. So there's there's good synergy there. All right, so the packs are interesting. There's a, it will, we'll go really quickly. The Don Justice Superman pack, 25 bucks Canadian, no power credits. Maybe it's clue next week's challenge. Doesn't Probably lock, lock what it start. is. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, but he was last available. Um, this pack and also the tag team pack, which is also 25 bucks Canadian with Lucha Durbane, Hawk Girl, New 52 Nightwing, were both last available at the same time Suicide Squad Harley Quinn was the challenge. Yeah. So they're in synchronicity, although they were a little bit more expensive last time. They were a couple bucks more. So maybe there is some sort of floating exchange rate that takes into account what the Canadian dollar is at the time, and they fix the American price. Probably. Yeah, and so, anyways, the important part is that we expect to see Donald Justice Superman next week, and our prediction that we're laying down is that the week after that should be animated Batman Beyond. Right, based on the based repeating on, cycle. Yeah, based yeah. on the cycle. So, obviously, we're expecting it to break at some point, because yeah. uh, it can't go on forever. That's right. But for now, we're, we're sort of... We've got a prediction two weeks ahead, and I would say well, it's much better than chance, right? I would yeah. say maybe there's like a 50% chance 
60% chance that it's, like, this specific character, right. which normally is, you know, instead of guessing any one out of all the options, like, right. however yeah. many there are, like, dozens. Right. Um, yeah. Our Survivor is League of Assassin's gear for the next two weeks until June the 16th. Uh, Phantom Zone is finished. Fight 62 is still broken. Last week's breakthrough was, as expected, Harley Quinn, Killer Croc, and Martian Manhunter. So this coming weekend's is probably Hawkgirl, Green Lantern, and Lobo. Link in the description to a subreddit uh, for Injustice, the mobile game, where Devlin16 goes over a list of the complete breakthrough cycle. That's mm-hmm. been good for a long time now. Yep. Moving on to the current glitches, just remember that our glitches that we mentioned here that you can do are going to be... Uh, if you want to do them yourself, we don't give you enough information here. You want to look at the playlist that we're going to link in the top right corner uh, in the eye and also in the description of the video. Uh, and that playlist goes through in-depth tutorials for all the glitches that are currently working. Uh, so starting out with not working stuff, stuff that you might want to do that you can't, uh, there is nothing for credits. Uh, there is nothing for uh, nothing for credits that we're willing to endorse. Uh, season 6, Episode 9 of our P&Q and q and and a and t we talk about why, but, you know, find it if you want to. We're not going to tell you how to get it. Uh, there's nothing for getting repeated past multiplayer season rewards, early multiplayer season rewards, getting through the Phantom Zone supernaturally quickly, or getting free energy without having to watch the video. In terms of working glitches, and I forgot to mention this earlier, but we're Android 9, so we're going to mention stuff for Android 10 and iOS, but we can't confirm anything personally. We can only tell you what other people have told us. All right, yeah. Uh, challenge reset method works, confirmed on Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn Challenge. Um, when Phantom Zone is around, it's basically the same glitch. Uh, link in this, or sorry, description has uh, something cut and pasted from a viewer, uh, Tammy Cacte, about what to do with Android 10 so you don't have to download a whole bunch of data again. And also a uh, comment from Jonathan Yang on how to reset the challenge on an iOS device. Mm-hmm. Uh, the airplane mode slash refund glitch is still working. That's good for any packs with random uh, drops and last laugh tickets. Not Phantom Zone for us because Phantom Zone requires an online when Phantom connection. Zone. Yeah, when Phantom Zone is open. Yeah, so not relevant right now anyways, I guess, but... Uh, time shifting still works in Android for unlimited survivor play and energy recharges. Breakthrough glitch to let you play it repeatedly also still working. And that's it until we get to that one glitch in limbo. The promotion glitch hasn't failed us once when the conditions were right. Conditions have not been right for years. Mm -hmm. So it's not technically a bad glitch. Yeah. But it's still... It's, that's why it's still It's neither here nor there. Yeah. 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 Uh, and to finish up, we'd like to give a huge thank you to all the lovely folks who support us on Patreon. And we really do mean that. We get into the habit of just saying, you know, the same sort of stuff, but we appreciate each and every person who uh, supports us in whatever way you support us. Right. Uh, but we only we only <laughs> have a small subset of people who are directly supporting us monetarily. So we'd like yeah. to say a specific thank you yeah. to these lovely folks, which are Consul Peasant and Ed Woon at the top tier last word, Muhammad Shady at the Your Message Here tier, Sean Farrell, Daniel Simonson, Aaron Mall, Michael DeVries, Brandon C., Irvin Ruiz, and Eddie Du, who are supporting us on the credited level, and Chris Wolf, Scarlett Danny, Awesome Gamer 241, Pavu RS, Gavin Malot, and Isfar E the gratitude level. Thank you so much for your support. We'll see you next time. Komoda.